Hey everybody, Bluer here. Gonna be doing a speed run of Visage, one of the newly released games that kind of has like a PT kind of a vibe to it. That's why everybody is excited for it. But um, I don't know. For me, I just enjoy it. It's a good horror game. So uh, anyway, let's just go on ahead and start this up. So I'm just gonna skip past the intro here. So as far as the intro goes, what happens is you basically. Um, you're this, you know, unknown guy. Um, you load up a revolver. You have your um, a whole bunch of people basically gagged onto chairs, which is like, you know, you can assume it's the person's family. And what happens is you basically the guy kills every single one of them, and then he kills himself, and then boom, game starts. Although I would say that um, if you want to not be spoiled, definitely don't watch this. I know I just spoiled the intro, but um, yeah, it would recommend against watching this otherwise um, for the most part it's a very short game um, but you know that doesn't mean that it's really fun and one thing I'll say is I'm sure there's gonna be a couple people who feel that like oh you finished it really quickly um, that like you know oh the game's really fast because you finished it quickly not at all like this game took me about three hours to finish normally um, without any uh, without any guides but, uh, yeah, so first thing I want to do, just run over here, and you're not going to be able to see this, but it's a panda on the door. And I think I have to head right in here, look at the panda. Door opens slowly. Knock, knock, knock. There we go. Oh, and then we like just come in here for free pills. There's a lighter downstairs. Okay. Basement key. So there we go. Turn off the TV and then it'll turn back on on its own. And what it shows is that there's like a little girl um, downstairs. So, assumedly Lucy. So, I'm just gonna go down there, give her a good old look with my eyeballs. Trying to seem interesting. I'm not really. So, here we are. be it. Oh, I didn't trigger it. Oh, I did, okay. Alright. Take out the camera. Oh, gotta put that away. And here we go. So funny thing with the scene, I mean, obviously it's a, it's a gorgeous scene, I love it. Um, funny thing about the scene is just, uh, when it first happened, I literally just like, I was so far back, you wouldn't even understand. So I didn't see that she kind of drops the syringe there. And, uh, you know what? I'm going to get a chance. That one's going in my cringe compilation. Okay. But, uh, yeah, pretty much. Just put that other one away. Okay. There we go. Yeah, I just realized I went the wrong way up, but whatever. Alright, so now... Um, oh, basically, so you would follow the... Um, I didn't do it, but you would follow the camera all the way up here. Door slowly opens. And right over here, get a little spooky scene. And I forgot to turn off Discord notifications. What a lad. Alright, so now that I did all that, I get to go outside. What's behind the door?
Oops. No, that would slow me down. There we go. And you get this gorgeous scene of kind of walking outside. And I'm um, just going in the direction of guilt. That's what that sign told me. But, uh, yeah, not much to do here. Just holding on shift and running my way over. Also doing a really bad job with the splits. Whatever. Zoom in with V. I didn't even realize that on my first playthrough. But yeah, so here we go. We get into a nice little tree house. And you get a little story here with the photos, and you're basically trapped in here until you find the key. And unlock that. And now, a little cutscene that gets to play. Oh, there's a little Matryoshka down here. do here other than wait. Also, one more area in the game that I have to wait. Except from a few for short cutscenes, but uh, for the most part, uh, yeah. Alright, so now you kind of came off of that, and you wake up, and you see nothing but an empty box and a whole bunch of light switches, or like the light switch like frames, on the ground. So, I'm going to take this. Oh boy, why did I take that? I have to just watch, I have to watch this. Alright, and this. So yeah, now you just basically, oops. Head upstairs. And yeah, I'm just going to walk now. Good little trick I found there, you can kind of open doors that way. And so here we go. Get Lucy in a room now. Watch out, there's a jump scare coming up. There you go. I gave you the 720 on that, alright? Don't you guys worry. Pick up as many pills as you can. This is a any. Yep. Alright. There we go. And I get this little door over here. So there we go. Just gotta wait a little bit. And there we go. Sweet. Okay, so now it's this scavenger hunt for a goddamn key. Now, there are going to be, like, people that just know where the spawn... There we go. 
I got really lucky there. <laughs> there are people who are probably just going to know where the spawns are, but for me, um, that is going to be something I want. And now you get a little creepy moment right here. One sec. There you go. And she's kind of blocking my way now, so I have to kind of wait. At least I'm just going to be... Yeah, see, she turns around. Yeah, okay. Bitch, that's exactly what I want. Just kidding. Alright. Please open, okay. Alrighty. Then you get a nice little long hallway, just really just relaxing area, just get to walk. And, uh, you know, haunted girls uh, chasing you, and uh, don't really enjoy that, but hey. Alright. I get this area. And you just get two doors, and that's it. And that door just disappeared, and now I'm trapped in this room. Fantastic. So you get the bird, and uh, what she's doing is she's basically murdering the poor bird. Because of the... What do you call it? She's murdering the poor bird because of the dark spirits, or whatever. Poor Lucy. And that's what's going on. And do a little circling. I will go back over here. And it's a little Matryoshka doll over there too. But I'm in a hurry. I gotta beat this game. Alright. Now I think it's pretty expected what's gonna happen when I open this drawer. But just for those curious, you might want to close your eyeballs. Spooky shit. There you go. Okay. And I get sucked into the... Oh, no, never mind. I don't get sucked in. That's later. Lucy pushes me back. And now I'm back to the house. Yet again. Okay. Head on here. Grab a mannequin jaw. You know, just your average everyday stuff. Your average everyday utensils. And I'm just going to run downstairs like a little bitch. Oh, and that is going to reduce my sanity, so I'm going to just... You can see where I am. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. So there's, the, there's a key in there too, but I don't need it. So I'll just put this on here. That'll open. And I'm just gonna take a picture here. Ooh, that's cool. And then guess what? Manic in there, and then spooky shit. One, two, three. There you go. Alright, and just like that, I'm in this final segment of the game. Just gotta, you know, wake up any any minute now, dude. Oh, this is in the door. There you go. It's like nothing's fine here, and then one sec, watch this. Bada bing! Spook y'all. Alright, now I just gotta head on over here. Oh, I just turned that back on. I don't think that actually matters. Hopefully I just don't get the guy here, because he is tough. Not tough, but I mean, I, I don't know, I haven't gotten him here. Spooky mannequin falls down. Cobwebbed area here. Really just cool stuff. I love playing through this the first time. Which is awful. And it was great because it was awful. And I'm going to open this door. And then I'm going to get this room. But you know what? Forget this room. I'm just going to go down here. Well, it seems a lot better. You know? Alright, so now. A little shadow on the wall. Kind of reveals that there's something under here. Now, um, I ignored it earlier, I just went straight left when I entered this area, but um, basically there's a room kind of, that's kind of blocked some way, and it's got like a red glow to it, and there's also some other kind of events that you can trigger, but um, I just ignored that so I can go right for the ending. So there we go, so basically I'm taking that out of the door right now, so I'm going to go head back over there. 
put this down nice gently. I might need it later. No. Alright. So there we go. There we go. And now I just walk back. Oh, I gotta put this away. Alrighty. Because there's a chair there. It also was blocking the way. The game just like freezes over here. Bloop. Alright. There we go. So I can go in there and there will be something that happens in there, but I want to finish the game, so. Oh no, spooky man, he come. Don't be alarmed. Alright. So there we go. Basically, the other doors are just dark. It's an F from what I remember of the game. But uh, yeah, so I'm just gonna head in here. Oh, it's an open. That in the way. And uh, yeah, so now I'm just gonna walk over here. Get me a key so I can open the other doors. I'm getting more of the hang of the menus as I play more. Yeah, so I've gotten pretty lucky. The guy actually hasn't spawned here if I just like take a run for it. I did like uh, two other attempts of the game. One where I just did like, I was like, oh yeah, let me just test one out and then another where I got stuck in the Pico section where you're searching for the um, caged key and I was just gonna walk and you know spooky shit I didn't enter any of these doors when I first started playing but I think it's just nothing but bad and you die but uh, yeah so here we go you walk over here there's a nice delightful little jump scare if you go over there but I'm just gonna avoid that cuz gotta finish the game Yeah, you gotta walk this way. So now I just gotta walk over to the lamp, and then spooky shit. There you go. A lot of spooky shit in this game. But honestly, I mean, again, like, <laughs> let my commentary not be the impression that I give of this game. Like, I actually really enjoyed it my first time, but, you know, you know where you're going. And then you go do stuff really fast. That's the speed run, folks. Alrighty. Fuck. <laughs> so here I am, I'm back. And now, I have to just head back upstairs. Follow the light switches on the floor. Actually, legit forgets. Forgets what happened. Or forgot what happened with this part of the game. Oh, yeah, you gotta go in that bathroom. Yeah, so now you just have to wait. <laughs> when that thing was off, it, w it was literally off for the longest time because my first playthrough of this game, I like did not know that light switches were a thing that happened in this game. So, but uh, yeah, so it's you're pretty much just waiting. This is the final segment of the game. I don't think I'm gonna finish it in 20 minutes. Probably maybe like 22 minutes. But uh, yeah, there's a good like two minutes of just waiting here. I mean, again, like, when you play the game initially, it's great, but, uh, as for a speedrun, just, uh, yeah, you are gonna be waiting, so... This is the auto-scroll segment, as you will. Interesting thing here, I saw their playthrough, is you can actually sort of make out... I think, kind of? You can sort of make out that there's, like, some blurriness over there, because, um, later on... She will kind of blink in and out of existence right in this spot. Da -da 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 -da. But uh, yeah, I'm just waiting for the tub to fill up. Because I gotta get in it. And, I mean, you know, you need a full tub. What do you want to get in the tub? I don't really know how to speed up this section. I'm just kind of 
fooling around. I don't know if you have to do this, but I'm going to do it anyway. Almost ready to get in. Come on, man. Let me in the tub. Fill up. What are you doing? There we go. It's nice, you know, you're just relaxing in a tub, but, you know, you have your friend with you, you know? You always have to have your friends with you when you have a bath, but... As for, you know, monster from demon hell that wants to kill you, not a great time. Um, but yeah, so there you go. You enter the bath, and in the bath, wake up in this kind of, uh, just empty plane. Wake on up, Lucy's watching TV. And I'm just like, what is she watching, you know? Because I'm curious. So you walk over. Okay. And you get the final segments of Lucy's story. Or Lucy's chapter, I think the game calls. I actually don't know where, like, spatially these spawn. I mean, like, if you just look at it, it's you just get this huge empty plane. You get this here. And, like, I assume there would be maybe a lit-up area for, like, one thing. But, uh, as far as I'm concerned, I do not see where it would spawn. I think it spawns back there, even, like, if I just stand here. There you go. That's where it spawns. I think my only complaint here is you literally cannot hear them. Like, I'll be quiet here, You, it's difficult to hear them. Except for the woman. Woman in here. But, uh, yeah, so basically what's happening is, uh, this is kind of the story of, um, how Lucy... I don't know if it's because she watched TV. That's a good... That might be something, you know. It's a, it's a, it's a political commentary about watching TV makes you evil, and you want to kill him. No, um, I think uh, basically like she turns evil at some point. Um, a doctor recommends syringes that they have, which is you know why you see her drop it earlier. It's about that, um, and basically she kills a bird as you hear, and I don't know what else to say. All right, final one. I mean, honestly, like, that was good. Those people talking, I'll go over to that. But this, uh, this bath over here looking a little spooky, but yeah, you know what? The bath is filled with blood. And you know what? You know, like, first reaction, I'm going to just get in the blood bath because clearly it was a blood bath. I, I didn't even pick that up for the first time. It's it's a blood bath. You know what a blood bath is like when there's a lot of fucking violence and murder or whatever. But, uh, yeah, so... Just nothing on all sides, just black. And the guy does the does the benefit of just ducking down. Here we go. Gross. I would not want to step into a bloodbath, you know, not like you know you think of bath, you're like, oh, I'm gonna have a nice time, you know, gonna just clean myself. But no, this guy gross don't be a character in this video game it's my advice to you and you'll go far in life
God damn. That's what happened. She pulled out her jaw. Do you would you imagine how much strength you would need to fucking pull out your jaw? Okay, so that's the game. And I'll do the little um extra bonus cuz you stuck around. But yeah, so there you go. That is Visage as it stands currently in early access. It's chapter 1. This is the second patch they added to the game. Um one of the most notable noticeable differences was um which I much what much like is uh basically your Sanity meter has been in the bottom left, and what it does is, first it shows a brain, and then it shows, like, black splotches. But now, instead of showing that, you get what is essentially... Alright, there we go. You, instead of getting that, you get um, red splotches, which is a lot better to... A lot easier to read. So there you go, you get one for... You get a strange note for 302, and if you didn't... Oops. If you didn't catch up on it... Um, the uh what do you call if you didn't catch up on it you got the um oh i dropped the camera oops doesn't matter look at this double lighter all right it's like i'm going to kimbo with this baby but uh you want to go into room 302 which is here which i thought it would be it's over here and you get this nice little easter egg kind of bit at the end i'll just be quiet again Bam! And that's Visage. Thanks for watching, guys.